Hello there Apps by viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on preview video for you. This time it's with Drift Girls from NHN Entertainment. And uh, it is a... <laughs> it is a drifting game. Uh, a little bit like maybe a CSR or, or one of those kinds of racing games. Plus a dating game. Uh, which is which is an interesting combination, right? The game is coming out of Korea. It's, uh, this is the soft launch version that I'm playing at the moment. Uh, it should be coming out on the 10th of June, certainly around that sort of period of time, in the very least. And uh, yeah, we were racing with Chloe there. There she is, look, good job. I knew you'd win anyway. That's what she just said. Uh, we managed to complete that stage. Let's hit complete. Load times are... Not too bad, not too bad at all. The game looks pretty good. And I've managed to just level up there, level 4 to level 5. Uh, so this is the lady that we're uh, uh, racing with on the left-hand side. I'm tapping the clear button, and that adds to the progress meter. We've actually already cleared episode 1. I was just showing you an early race. Let's go to the previous screen. You can do all the sorts of... Uh, all so She's sick of that top, I think. Um, the uh, You can do all sorts of things in this. Uh, let's go to our garage. Uh, we can see all the cars that we've won, and we can also upgrade our vehicles as well. So I'm going to tap the upgrade button. Here's Hannah. Yeah, it's that time we got that upgrade, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and uh, we can sacrifice cars to the the first car, basically, uh, and uh, that will upgrade that vehicle. But we're not going to do that on this occasion. Just wanted to show you that. Uh, what we can also do is grab new parts for it. So we've, you can see here that we've added an engine there. We can also upgrade parts themselves so that they're even better. There's a full friends list in here as well. I'm getting friend requests left, right and centre at the moment. Thank you. Confirm. Uh, and what else can we do? Well, we can buy all sorts of items as well uh, to give you know, gifts to uh, to the ladies, uh, and uh, we can also, you know, uh, use these fuel items, for example, because it is a free-to-play game. Uh, in the top there, you'll see all the different currencies that are in play. There is a fuel meter, so it takes a certain amount of fuel to enter certain uh, certain types of races. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the date button, though, because this is the slightly curious element of the game. So we're going to go ahead and date Chloe. We could go and date Alexa if we wanted, uh, once we've unlocked her, but we're going to go on a date. Where are we going to go? Where should we go? Did you... Okay, blah, 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 blah. Uh, cafe, theatre, campus... Um, well, I think she's uh, she's a classy lady. Let's go ahead and go to the theatre. Uh, oh, she likes your car. Oh, excellent. And then... Uh, oh, dear. What's, uh, what's up? Mm-hmm. Why are we talking in the theatre? Okay. Yep. So I didn't ask which... Yep, yep, yep. We're watching a movie now. Okay, yep. I prefer domestic movies. Subtitles hurt my eyes. It's the same with me. It's the same with me. What kind of movie are we seeing today? Romantic comedy or sci-fi action? Well, I think we all know, as a red-blooded male, I am well into romantic comedy, so that's, that's me. This is why I like you. You know what I like without being told? Hmm, that's slightly... <sighs> a bit too much. Uh, caramel popcorn or cheese popcorn? Caramel, surely. Come on. Yeah, share a bucket of popcorn. Got, yep. Uh, uh, yep, cool. So we've got a first visit bonus, because we've this is the first time that we've taken her to the theatre. Anyone else feeling slightly uncomfortable? Watching me date a lady. A virtual lady. Oh, she's sick of this. She really is sick of that top. I can't, at the moment, figure out how to get her out of that top and into something a little bit less revealing. Uh, so uh, that's something. Um... But we can, you know, the main meat of the game, uh, as it were, is racing. So let's go ahead and uh, should we do this boss race? No, let's let's not do that. Let's. There are boss races. They're kind of the same as other races, um, in that you have got to drift around corners, timing your turns correctly, uh, setting off from the finish line, uh, from the starting line as fast as possible. Oh, a new girl has appeared. Okay. Okay then, well, here we are. So it's a good start. You can see that the cars are kind of all based on real world cars, but there aren't licenses in here, not that I've seen so far. So you're not driving uh, minis, you're driving tinies. Which is a nice, nice way of getting around it, and still featuring kind of the same cars. And I'm just tapping on the left and right hand sides of the screen there to 
start drifting at the right times. I've also got my nitrous boost. I've earned some already because I've been drifting all good. Here we go. Can we get through it? Visuals, pretty good. Not too bad at all. Certainly smooth enough. And here we are. I'm going to use my, my nitrous boost. And we managed to cross the finish line. What a curious combination Drift Girls is. Uh, I think it's... I think it's going to appeal to a certain demographic quite a lot. Um, it's a fun drifting game, like it is actually just a fun racing game, and there's some novel enough dating elements in here as well, but the dating elements aren't nearly as deep as you would probably want them to be if you're looking for you know, a visual novel type dating game, it's, it's just not that deep basically. Um, and the driving, again, it's good if you're looking for something that's a little bit, you know, CSR-E. CSR but if you're after something closer to a Gran Turismo, say, you're going to find it a little bit lacking. The whole thing, do I find it uncomfortable to play it? No, because it's Drift Girls is really upfront about what it is and who it's catering to. Uh, it is super over the top and trying to be sexy, and it's not hiding that. Uh, and the girls actually have some really good dialogue in there. Sometimes some of them are a little bit ditzy and you think, oh, come on. And then some of them are just very, very well written. I think the um, the, the car mechanic is uh, actually a pretty funny character um, in the grand scheme of things. So it, you know, it's obvious in what the game is, and it's not trying to uh, it's not trying to sort of hide any of that away. And I think that that's I think that's that's admirable, basically. Um, so there we are. That is Drift Girls. Uh, I feel like we've shared something quite intimate there, uh, viewers. Uh, do let me know what you think of Drift Girls in the comments below.